You're awesome guys, bang an old video, so if you're watching this video and you're from the UK, you'll be fond of a woman called Katie Hopkins, probably one of the most controversial figures in the country. Well a few days ago, Josh Peters, a British YouTuber, completely took her for a mug where he released a video titled I flew Katie Hopkins to Prague to win a fake award. And by far, it's easily the best YouTube video of 2020, hands down. The irony throughout the video is unbelievable. But before we even jump into the YouTube video itself, when he announced the video on Twitter, it completely blew up, went viral, as Katie Hopkins is known for mainly her tweets, and recently she got suspended, so this whole thing completely blew up to a new level. The main reason for Katie Hopkins' Twitter initially getting suspended was because of all her offensive tweets recently. I think a few were aimed at Stormzy as well. And on the same day, Josh Peters, he tweeted out, Now that Katie Hopkins can't read Twitter, I can tell you that on Monday, I made her fly out to Prague to pick up a completely fake award video up shortly. From this tweet completely blowing up, there was a lot of mixed opinions and one of the top comments and responses from that tweet was from Jack Whitehall, who replied to Josh Peters by saying, top marks for this, love the commitment. Whereas big man like Tony DeGate, let's just say he wasn't really a fan of Josh Peters in the video he decided to do, where he done a massive rant where he stated, nice bit of bullying mate, and those who think this is funny are bullies too. Hope you're proud of yourselves, me? I'd feel thoroughly ashamed of myself if I were you, but in my experience, bullies are insecure and need to bully to be their own self-ego, go figure. It's evident, Tony DeGaia, he's just a big waffle. We can all agree, Katie Hopkins deserved to get mopped in that fashion. After it blew up all over Twitter, mainstream media were covering it instantly. So many different media outlets were covering the topic, stating, YouTube prankster fools Katie Hopkins. Talking about getting fooled, if you're this far into the video and you're still sitting here and you haven't clicked that red button, I don't understand what's going through your mind, what you're contemplating, but all you need to do is just smash it right now. So enough beating around the bush, let's just jump into this video and witness the process of one of YouTube's biggest pranksters. This is Katie Hopkins. My name is Katie Hopkins. I am a straight, white, Christian. She probably doesn't like you. I don't believe you can be fat and happy. I think that's just a cop out. Yeah, Islam is taking know. over my country. I'm not a big fan of the feminazis. I am a minority white. Because if you're an immigrant, Muslim, a full-time mother, black, suffering from mental health, overweight, Palestinian, wearing bad clothes, a feminist, have a tattoo, transgender, homosexual, Scottish, an Ebola victim, an asylum seeker, or if your name is Chardonnay, Chantal, Charmaine, Tyler, Brooklyn, Adelaide, Orlando, or Rio, or Jordan, or Paris, or any geographical location, she doesn't like you. Can we all just take a minute and appreciate the transformation of Josh Peters' content he went from doing like the chubby bully challenge last year to then making a mockery of one of Britain's biggest figures. So despite her charming views, one million Twitter followers and friendship with Donald Trump, Katie hasn't won many awards. So we thought it would be nice to give her one for being Britain's biggest so three months ago, we set up the Cape Town Collective for the Freedom of Speech. It's a campaign group made up of... Um, me and Archie. Although, if you look closely at the website, the picture of our founder is actually an image of a leader of the Ku Klux Klan. He looks old for a guy that died age 17. The swanky website also features a photo of my dad and the woman who makes the announcements on the London Underground. You've got to just love the extent he actually went through to make this public mockery of Katie. But then again, I'm wondering to myself, how the hell did Katie and her team not fall for this in the slightest? Back in London, it was time for the Posh News, hosted by Archie Manners. Just to give a little update as where we're at, we've got Katie, we've got Four Seasons Hotel, we've got flights for you and me, and accommodation for you and me. It's a really yeah. nice um, double bed, duck down duvet, 12 dogs, uh, many, many threads on the sheets. Yeah. This is our call sheet of actors. They literally sent over photos of themselves with numbers in front. We picked the it ones. It does look a little bit like a police lineup, doesn't it? Yeah. After months of planning, we had actors, dinner at the Four Seasons, flights, hotels, a trophy, cameras, and a top tier racist. Although, when you look at it from Katie's point of view, she got a free flight to Prague, a free five star accommodation, a really nice three course meal. I guess she's not really complaining. As you guys know, on my channel, I do like to give the most actual subscribers out there shout outs. Whether you're sitting there watching this at home and you have epilepsy or not, and you're like, you know what, I just do want a shout out. Literally, all you need to do, just be active on the channel, whether that's constantly liking, got subscribing, all different videos. And today's shout out is someone called Zeron Plays. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Much deep appreciated. As our flight landed, Katie's was taking off. I know this because I booked my mate Brian on the same flight to take some pictures of her. 
With confirmation that Hopkins was in Prague, we hopped it to her hotel to take some more. Not her, false alarm. Not her, not her. And played a game of Spot the Racist. Archie got 10 points in the first round when, tragically, I got the wrong person. I was getting a f confirmed idea on the fact that it's just a taxi turning around. Yep, no, not that one either, sorry. We were both losing the game for 45 minutes. And then suddenly, there Katie was, a racist. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I think Josh Peters is giving Nick Otto Milano a run for his money. Both of their content is now quite similar, but each time they're one up on each other. I, I wish I could take credit for the speech, but it was actually written uh, by my father, Leslie who is our chairman, um, he's asked me to say just a few words on his behalf. We need freedom of speech. From politicians to journalists, campaign groups to creatives, YouTubers to you in this room, without being able to say what we think, without being able to mock other people, without being able to attack people, we are not free. <laughs> At this point in the video, you're probably wondering what the hell is the point of him even doing this? What is he gaining out of it? Literally, it just seems like he's bullying her at this point. But wait till she gives her speech towards the end. To announce that the recipient for the 2020 Campaign to Unify the Nation trophy is Katie Hopkins. <laughs> And as Katie came up to collect her fake award, we had one more surprise in store. We had succeeded. We made Katie Hopkins fly 1600 miles to pick up a fake award and put the word behind her without her noticing. What I find most funny about this video, when he invites her up to get the award, every time she slightly turns her head towards Josh, the guy in the PowerPoint inside is quickly smacking his thumbs left and right. If you call Mohammed in a school playground in the UK, 2,000 kids come running and you don't want any of them. Epileptics are all weirdos. They're up there with the Asians. And East London's <laughs> fairly shitty in the best of times. 82% Muslim, what can I say? <laughs> Most people are raping their own mother. I guess Muslims are different. So she, uh, I believe her name was... Uh, her fiancé, I believe his name was... Anyway, they practice because they're such retards. Other places where people get stabbed a lot or try and rape their own mother or have five wives. Greta! How dare you! Autistic f***ing wench. I don't even have words to sum up anything she's saying. She's literally waffling so much disgusting crap right now. Literal verbal diarrhea spewing out her mouth. You might ask what the whole point of this thing is. Why did Archie and I fly Katie Hopkins to Prague and give her a stupid fake award? The truth is, there's an awful lot of hate in this world. And people like Katie Hopkins spread that hate and make money from it. And she can do that because she has freedom of speech. But so do I. So I used it to combat her spreading of hatred by playing on her ego and making her look a little bit silly. Anyway, to finish off, here's a message from our chairman. Hi everyone, Leslie Peters here, the chairman of the Cape Town Collective for the freedom of speech. It's with great sadness that I have to report that Katie has been banned on Twitter and as a result thereof, she can no longer be a member of this society. Goodbye. This YouTube video is easily the best prank of 2020 so far. I can't see another troll video coming near this. The extent he went through the time and effort to make sure he made up for one of Britain's biggest figures is astounding. Anyway guys, that's all about the video. I hope you did enjoy. Let me know your thoughts about this whole situation in the comments down below. Are you on Josh Peters side or for some weird reason on Katie Hopkins side? But make sure to follow up my social medias, Instagram, that live tube, same as Twitter. If you did enjoy, please do drop a like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you. Lay off.